Hi there, here's a look at Storefront Pro. This is a plugin um, built for Storefront, the, the official WooCommerce theme from WooThemes. And Storefront Pro gives you a whole bunch of new functionality that essentially lets you tailor your website uh, with a few clicks. So I'm just gonna go and activate it and then talk you through some of the main features. This is this is Storefront with no uh, Storefront Pro and you'll see it looks um, just like Storefront really. So you've got uh, pages and this is your shop. This is the default shop, the way it looks. And you've got a blog. These are the kind of key elements of Storefront. And it's a lovely theme, it's very lean and very fast, but if you want to customize it, we've built um, a ton of functionality that will help you. So let me just go and activate the plugin. So here, here we go, Storefront Pro. It comes as a plugin, so I'm just going to activate it. And now when I go back to my site, it looks identical. But now we have lots and lots of options that we can change. So I'm just going to run you through some of the key features of Storefront Pro and they're all available through the WordPress customizer. So you'll see up here, we've got this customize option. In there are a ton of things that you can do. So first up, I'm gonna go into he header elements and you'll see I can upload a logo. So I'm just gonna upload a logo, which I've already got uploaded. So it's just an image that you upload. But underneath here, you'll see we've added um, a whole bunch of other features. So if you want to add your phone number, which is very common, you just pop it in there. You can add an email address in here as well. So I'll just add these very quickly. You can add, also add your Facebook URLs and all your other, all your other social um, network URLs. Now I'm just gonna put in placeholders here, but you see as soon as you put these in, if you look on the top of the screen here, they'll start appearing up here. You can also, and you'll see here, and you can style the colors of these, which I'll show you how to do. You can also um, arrange these left or right. So I'm gonna arrange these right at the moment. And you'll see they flip over to the right, they flip over to the right hand side of the screen. And um, I'm gonna change the background color of my header as well. So there we go. And I'll come back to show you how you can change the color of all these as well. So the other thing I might want to do here um, is I might want to change the alignment of this logo and how this works. So we've built in a few styles that you can use. So you've got a line right, that's gonna align this menu here to the right of your logo. There we go, just like so, just with a click. Uh, you've got centered or centered inline logo. So I'm just gonna choose centered for today. And there we go, now it's nicely centered under my logo. Um, you can also do a few other things in here. So you can change the text styles. So you can change the fonts here of your menu items. So I'm gonna choose a font here. So you've got all Google fonts and the standard fonts to choose from. And you'll see they immediately reflect and change here. Uh, you can also change the text size. Let's just bump these up a few sizes just to make them stand out a bit. And you can do other things like, uh, actually just to bring that down a tiny bit. You can change some bold, italic, underline, or make them uppercase. So I'm going to do that. Uh, there we go, looking pretty pretty funky. You can also change the text color here. And again, uh, it's just a question of going here. And you can also change the background color, which I'll come back to when I show you how to do uh, your mega menus in a few minutes. Okay, and you can change your drop down menu colors and you can also change the way your drop down menu animates as well. So loads and loads of controls. The other thing you can do, this is the secondary navigation up here. So you can have a secondary nav up here with menu items. I've just put social icons and my contact email up here. And as I said before, you can change the font in here. So again, you just come in here and change the font. You can change the text size if you want to. And you can also change the uh, background color and the text color. So I'll keep the background color, but I'll just check, change the background, the, the text color to white. So there's my nice looking social icons that are linking to my social networks. So that's a quick look at how you can change um, the header. You can also change your mobile menu. So we've given you the ability to change uh, the mobile menu, which uh, gives you a ton of control over uh, the mobile experience. So that's that. I'm gonna move on next to show you how you can um, build your mega menus, which are really cool.